one is most beautiful. She is most beautiful. A woman of substance, intelligent. She's strong, she's proud, fearless and eloquent. She's a queen. She's gone as most Bonsoir, la nuit est belle. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, and also to our global audience joining us live from across Ghana and around the world. A welcome to One Africa, a celebration of the rich cultural heritage of our great continent. Cookie. You look very beautiful. You Anita. look beautiful too, darling. Indeed. We are inviting you to come along with us this evening because, of course, the beautiful queens will combine timeless values and thrilling music. Hey, Chale, it's going to be an awesome night. Gorgeous atas are going to be showcased right here on stage through our distinctive cultural heritage, of course, by all the countries that will be represented here tonight. Well, each presentation is a carefully crafted window into the soul of Africa. Our esteemed judges offer expert insight and your vote will play a crucial role in shaping the competition. It's a major eviction night, viewers, as three queens will be leaving the competition. Mm. Don't miss the chance to support your favorite contestant through the MG Reality app or by dialing star 713, star 13 hash. Now you at home can also jo join us via the Zoom link rolling on your screen. So that is pretty new. So please take note of it and join us on Zoom. On Zoom. Now our distinguished judges, Jigwadi Kokudosu and Janet Sunkwa Mills are here as always, lending their vast knowledge and keen eye to the competition. Now, before we even have a conversation with them, let's proceed to meet our esteemed guest judge for tonight's spectacular show. Meet Efua B. Ansre, a renowned development practitioner with a passion for gender equality and empowerment. As a senior gender specialist with UN Women, she's dedicated to improving lives and promoting sustainable development. Efua is also the founder of the Innovations Village Seed Company and Foundation, driving innovation for well-being and commercializing promising solutions. With over two decades of experience spanning UN agencies, government and NGOs, her expertise covers peace and security, agriculture, health, education, water and sanitation, HIV and AIDS, and community development. A skilled trainer, policy analyst, planner, programmer, evaluator and administrator, IFWA has worked with esteemed organizations including UN Women, FAO, the UK's DFID and the Ghana National Development Planning Commission. She's a member of various networks, including the Society for Women and AIDS in Africa, and actively mentors young women in her community. Participating literacy and human skills for educational background is impressive, with a double master's degree in social development planning and management, and a study of religions, plus a doctorate in business administration from the Noble International Business School in Ghana. Through her work, Efua demonstrates unwavering commitment to gender equality, development and innovation, making her a true leader in her field. And these are our judges for the night, Janet Sunkwa Mills and Jibwadi Pokudosu. Please help us extend a warm welcome to our guest judge. We see the love already. Thank you so much, Efia B and Sre, for joining us. We're coming to you in a little bit, but of course, we have to go to our original two to pick their thoughts on tonight. Janet, you look stunning. Is it burgundy over the GTP cloth with some ponytail going on there and I wear a high band? Chérie, je peux pas te dire ce soir, je suis très, très heureuse. Vous êtes trop magnifique, toute belle. Magnifique. Jan okay, Anita. Janet. This should be yours. Did, did, you, Janet, did you get it? Don't be deceived with the, <laughs> uh, la nuit est belle that you had. Because <laughs> I don't understand what she She said. has to rehearse it for four days. <laughs> <laughs> but now, that's a 
have impeccable French that you're speaking. When I say ukopoa, uh -huh. you have to say poa sana. We say poa sana. That's Swahili. Okay, so say it and let's respond. Ukopoa. Poa sana. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I mean, for me, it's, it's my favorite, favorite night of GMB because we get exposed to different countries in Africa. We get to see the girls, you know, transform themselves into something unique. And you ladies, Enya is you. You look beautiful. What Thank I said so in much. French Thank was you. you look magnificent. So it's going to be a night. And if it's not the first time we've had her here. It's the second so time. So welcome back. Yes. We are happy to have you on board. Thank you very much. Let's have some fun. All right. We will have some fun. We'll go to Jigbodi. You look beautiful in that yellow as well. As always and always. You just Anita, are you ready? You it's coming. It's coming. Are you ready? You just it's coming. You want to beat me to it. But you <laughs> know already. <laughs> Uh, c'est magnifique. Mm -hmm. uh, me to have added my own. Yeah, we look That's magnificent. You, you ladies are looking magnificent. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like one of my team members would say, resplendent. Yeah. In tea, they've gone to, you've gone to another level right. tonight because right. it's uh, one Africa. So I'm, I'm just excited to see them evolve into other cultures. And I'm, I'm so looking forward to it. Like Jenna said, we're just going to have fun. We're just going to watch them. And we are just going to enjoy and support them as always. Right. And if we're uh, welcome. <laughs> she's so beautiful. So she is beautiful. very beautiful. So I've given her compliments on what she's yes. wearing on her head already. And, and that gear yeah. is super beautiful. She, she was even interpreting some to me. So oh, yeah? Yes. So I'll pass you on right to her. If uh, you are so welcome. <laughs> it's your second time on GMB and we are excited to have you. This is your turf. You've worked across Africa with women and young women as well. Tonight, what are your expectations? Thank you very much. It's an honor to join my panelists here this evening and to also work with all of you. Uh, this evening, I'm expecting an explosion here. Wow. Because we're going to be hearing from, uh, about cultures from across Africa. And you know how we are in Africa. We have beautiful things to display. So I'm expecting to see all these wonderful things that bring out the contribution of Africa to the world's development. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our three judges for the night. Now, there's also a Zoom link right on your TV screens. Please pick up the link and join us on Zoom as well. Anita? Absolutely. And the most important part is that once our judges are seated, then we're good to go. And it is showtime. And so, ladies and gentlemen, do not wait for the time we're about to evict before you pick up that phone of yours Vote. and then start voting. The short code, Cookie, let's say it together. Star 713, star 13 hash. Vote. Mm -hmm. Because tonight, three queens are saying goodbye to the competition. But right after this break, it is showtime. She's a queen. Welcome back to Studio B. I do hope that you are ready for our Afro Explosion Night. Now, 54 countries make up the African continent, but this evening, 10 of them will be well represented on stage through our heritage and our diverse culture. Now, this very first country has been in a fight with Ghana for a very long time. We share a border with them. We've had fights from football to music and to even jollof. Can we imagine? Even though our jollof tastes way better than theirs. Well, you can argue with your phones, but also be reminded that tonight a Zoom link will be provided on your TV screen so you can join us. But make sure that you're looking beautiful because every now and then we'll pick you on our main screen so the whole world can know that you have joined us tonight. So from the Volta region, starting off the night of performances for us, let's welcome Makafui representing Nigeria. She's a queen. We don't enter yard with that too. My name is Nachia Maka, a proud daughter of the Igbo land. Did you know that the apprenticeship system in the world originated from the Igbo land in Nigeria? Well, 
join me as my son goes through the process. Hi everyone, my name is McAfee and I want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you for your love, your support and prayers. The chiefs and elders in Volta Region, MPs and MCs of Volta Region, the Volta Region Caucus in Parliament, the Satanko of Tanko Company, the Methodist Church Ghana, staff at Pep Seven Military Hospital, to Makafui, youth in Volta Region, and my family. God bless you all. Tonight is eviction night, so please keep dialing star 713 star 13 hash on all networks or download the MG Reality app on Google Play Store or Apple App Store and vote massively for Makafui. In Bells, thank you. Akpanami. Mama, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome. Oya, Daddy, what do you want, boy? Please come in here. A Kenneth Delichiku. I am a Nigerian, one among Africans' proud souls, one of eight black people anywhere in the world, a Nobel Prize winner, a Grammy Award, and an Oscar winner. My strength comes from the Niger River and flows through the venue to nature our kola nut. I am united by over 250 tribes in 300 tongues. Nigeria is my home. And I am a proud daughter of the Igbo land. My name, Nachiamaka, meaning God is good. But today, if you feel call me Mama Ekene. <laughs> because Ekene, now you go make them. Now you go make a tire a chop pounded jam. Can I want to take you to apprentice? Oh, Papa, Papa, Mama. Come on, dear. Why does our people take Igbo boys so serious? I can name my son. We, the Igbo people, are the most business-minded people on earth. Calm down. We believe that there is no problem in this world that cannot be solved through negotiations and bargaining. That is why you hear your father say, Mwafia. To wait, the world is a marketplace. This Igbo apprenticeship system, that is the Igbo boy, is good give you well, well. It's a rite of passage that will transform you into a skilled entrepreneur. So you become a future millionaire. Oh, yeah, go pack your things. I can't be not the wait. Thank you. Ah, when I'm there here, sorry, be cool, make you not forgive me. I'm going to give you gist. The Igbo culture of entrepreneurship can be likened to that of the Kwao people in Ghana. Unlike many other African communities, the Igbo, the Igbo slaves were introduced to entrepreneurship by their masters. That is why me and my husband ah. recognized the ambitions of our son, spoke with, spoke with Aga Obina, a master in his trade, to guide Ekene on his journey for free whilst he served him in return. We performed a traditional ceremony where we entrust our son to his new mentor with a clear agreement and a hopeful heart. Ekene, yes, Mama. may you succeed. Amen. May the heavens be kind unto you. Amen. He learns everything he needs to know as an apprentice. And after six good years of commitment and hard work, ah, he is finally yeah, done with his apprenticeship. His Oga would now settle him with a capital to set a business on his own. We perform a freedom ceremony celebrating the achievement of my future millionaire, Ekene. Ah, Agao Bina. Chikwe Gwezigi. Eyomakolagi. Thank you. May the heavens be kind to you. Now, this ceremony under you go see, say, with the chop on assumptions, delicacies like fufu with okra soup, pounded yam with egusi soup. Not forgotten the spicy rice dish. That is a jollof rice, so we feed top one plus one our fresh palm wine from our farms. As the soon to be millionaire's mother, I shall travel the length and breadth of Nigeria. I shall visit the Yankari Reserve to refresh my dusty memory. That's not all. Oh. I will fly the best of over 20 domestic flights to Lagos for the Ayo Festival. Ah! We are the giants of literature and fashion. Say my rapper nice give you. Don't worry, I'll pack one give you. We are 
the giant of Africa. And you know, mm -hmm. say, when it comes to Nigeria, so we know they carry last for anything, you know, especially for one entertainment zone. I beg, make you not join me. Let's celebrate the freedom of my Ekene, the future millionaire. Neighbors, make you not come. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. You are, you are, you are proud of you, my son. Yes, Papa. I am proud of you. Thank you, Papa. This land is full of joy. Nigeria is truly my home. Ndeo, thank you. Makafui, Makafui from the Volta region, representing Nigeria for the night. And Jigwadi, because you're smiling and clapping at the same time, I'm going to come to you for your comments on Makafui's performance. Oh, uh. <laughs> I I enjoyed, I was engaged, I was very present, I was going through the process with you trying to understand, because I've seen this happen uh, a couple of times. The first thing I'll say is that I love the fact that you immersed yourself into the experience from beginning to end. I think that was the first thing. The second thing I saw is that you overcame some small hitches. You found ways of doing it, and I, I love that confidence. Those were the two big pluses. I wanted to see some more interaction, like in terms of from their side. There was one conversation, and I, I would have also preferred that when you came for the culture side, it would have been with some drumming, but I love the song, so I enjoyed it. So well done, Ka Makafui. All Thank right, you. well done, Makafui. Ifwa, you want to comment on Makafui's performance? <laughs> yes, I'd love to. Um, I think she has done very well. She has brought yeah. out the importance of the family. In fact, I think when she's talking about the apprenticeship system, what she's talking about is our traditional way of education, our socialization, as to say it. So you finish and you have something to do. It's not you have a certificate and don't have anything to do. So you have highlighted a very important tool that we can use here in Africa. You've brought out the importance of family. Both you and the father were actively involved. Mm -hmm. You've also brought out the reasons why we need to continuously respect our elders, uh, like the um, mentor that you got for your son. Your face and your figure and everything is beautiful. You were eloquent mm -hmm. and confident. And I think you've done well. The only thing is, um, if I know the Nigerians well, you didn't go as low as you were supposed to go when your husband called you. But I think that's because you are now a modern Nigerian woman with a high heel and all of that. But well done. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Makafui, please go backstage. Now, if, you're Mac if Makafui is your favorite, make sure you're voting for her. Star 713, star 13, hash, because unfortunately, two at least, or at most three of the girls will be saying goodbye to us tonight. Well, we told you that there's a Zoom link available for you to join us live tonight. It is on your screen right now. The ID is right there on your TV screen, but please make sure you're smelling, you're looking all beautiful because every now and then we'll pick you to join our live feed. Thank you very much as you have joined. We've seen that many people are jo have joined already, so please join us also. Now, this second country has become the favorite vacation destination for most people in Africa and the world at large. And even now, with the visa waiver, it has become so convenient to travel to South Africa for your vacation. Now, Efriye from the Ashanti region is bringing us the South African culture. She's a queen. Hello Ghana, bonsoir, je m'appelle Minkia and tonight I'm taking you on a tour to a land of unbeatable hospitality, Côte d'Ivoire. My special thanks goes to Nnamba, Mbamba, 
all MPs and aspiring MPs in the Northeast region. Team Minkia, the safe church of the Jesus is the answer church. Thank you for your continuous prayers and votes. We didn't come this far to leave ourselves stranded. Kindly keep me in the competition by dialing the short code star 713 star 13 hash or download the MG Reality app to vote and vote for me. Nipuokma, thank you. Unprosia. Mom de Jerry, on no have invite, Madame de Messe, Bonsoir, Sahili Benvenu. You are welcome to Cote d'Ivoire, my motherland, the jewel of West Africa, where beauty and rhythms collide. Our capital is Yam Sokro, with Abidjan as our economic hub. After gaining independence in 1960, we have remained an economic hub in the whole of West Africa. We are the world's largest producer of cocoa. We are known to have one of the most stable economies in the world. Our official language is French. We have a population of about 26 million with over 60 ethnic groups. Did you know that Akans are found in Côte d'Ivoire? From the stunning landmarks, including the Basilica of Our Lady of Peace, and the Grand Bassam, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, to the beautiful beaches of Assini, to the lush rainforest teeming with life, Côte d'Ivoire has made an appearance, offering a truly beauty and African representation. One of the most striking aspects of the Ivorian culture is our textile arts. These fabrics, woven with different colors and with intentional patterns, tell stories of our heritage and represents various ethnic groups. We are known for our Max carving, which represents our culture and beauty. They are used at ceremonies and they embody spirits, ancestors, and deities. Music is the soul of Côte d'Ivoire. Our traditional instruments like the balafon and the djembe create captivating rhythms that fuse every ceremony with joy and energy. We celebrate festivals like the Festival of Mask, the Yam Festival, the Poro Festival, and many others. Our food includes ateke, aleko. Oh, you should come and taste these delicacies for yourself. You will yearn for more. You will lick your fingers and yearn for more. We are the best of Africa's best, with our orange representing the savanna of the north, our green representing the rich forest vegetation of the south, our white representing our unity. When it comes to football, you know already, or I should remind you, we are the best of Africa's best. We are the reigning champions of Africa. When you visit Côte d'Ivoire, we leave you with memories that will linger in your heart forever. With our bolus of hair, give me the rhythm from the land of my birth. All right, Mikia, representing Cote d'Ivoire. Janet, I'm coming straight to you. Sama Minkia. Sama? Tu parles pas français. Je sais, ça va bien. You look beautiful. I like the creativity of your dress, the cowries, and your headgear. The thing about Ivorians is their beauty is so demure, so calm, and you exude such confidence. Well done. I lived in Cote d'Ivoire for about four years, so I love their food, their sauce grain, ateke, aloku, you know, sauce guaguasu, everything. And I think you did very well. Well done. Great job. Well done, Minkia. From Janet, I'm coming to you, Ifwa. 
Nikia, well done. Um, like Janet, I think you have represented Cote d'Ivoire very well. I like your outfit, like you said, even the hat. It's uh, unique, I haven't seen this hat before. You look very rich with your cowries. You didn't tell us about your cowries and what it represents and how important it is. But I love everything you said about your festivals, your musical instruments and all of it. They show us truly who we are as Africans. So thanks for highlighting that, I enjoyed it. All right, if Mikia did it for you tonight, make sure you're keeping her in the competition. Star 713, star 13. Cash. Now from the Savannah region, as we've always had in GMB 2024, tonight she's representing the people of Senegal. Let's welcome Titiaka. Bonsoir, bienvenue au Senegal. Mon nom est Titiaka proudly representing the Savannah region in this year's Ghana's Most Beautiful. Well, in Ghana, you boast of the black and white voter. Have you heard of the Pink Lake? Yes, I mean the Lac Red Bank. Join me tonight as I take you through a dazzling experience of my country, Senegal. I would like to express my deepest sense of appreciation to Jira Yegbonura Bikunu to Joe Sale the first. To the University of Professional Studies Accra and to the students and staff of Kumasi Academy, Team Titiaka and to the Gonjalan Students Association and everyone that supports Titiaka. Thank you and may God richly bless you. To keep me in this competition, kindly dial star 713 star 13 hash or download the MG Reality app on Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Thank you. Nagadev. I am Mam Jaramboji Yai, the most powerful Wolof in Marabu. We, the Wolof, are the largest ethnic group in Senegal, the country of hospitality, Peyi de la Teranga. Situated in L'Afrique de l'Ouest, our country stretches along the Atlantic Ocean, making fish one of our largest exports. It is not surprising that Senegal is derived from the Wolof phrase, Sundigal meaning our canoe. Jimrik! The time for lamb wrestling has come. Lamb was originally a test for strength and endurance, preparing young men for war and hunting, but has evolved into a social practice and national obsession. As the proud marabou of Modu, the current lamb champion, I am here to fortify him. The goal is to make sure his opponent falls on the ground with his back. Our ancestors, bless and strengthen him, the great grandson of Alpuri Gunjai. Go and make our ancestors proud. Ta, ta, jabun, dandi, ta, jabun. It's not only a battle of physical strength, but also of spiritual power. My champion. Indeed, you embody the spirit of Senegal, the nation that was born to win. Take this. Well done. To celebrate your victory, I've asked the maids to prepare chebu yap and chebu jen, jollof rice with fish and chicken. You know, whenever my friends from Ghana and Nigeria argue about jollof rice, I just laugh and shake my head because jollof originates from my land. For you, Taurus, after soaking in the panoramic view of Dakar, from the tallest statue in Africa, the Africa Renaissance Monument, and gliding on the only pink lake in Africa, Lake Redpa, attending a lamb match is a must. You may be lucky to meet our president, His Excellency Basiru Fai, the youngest president in Africa. You know, with 
keen eyes, you will see the display of our unique cultural heritage in the award-winning movie, Black Panther. Wakanda forever. Wakanda, Wakanda forever. forever. Now, to my openness, you do not have to hang your heads in shame. Just get a stronger marabou next time. Let us come together to dance and celebrate our bond as one people, one Senegal, one Africa. Titiaka from the Savannah region, representing Senegal for One Africa. Everybody, you look super impressed. Am I correct? Très bien. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> I loved every part of it. Um, like they say, she came, she saw, and she conquered. Merci well beaucoup. Thank you so much. Well nice done speech. to you. You're all right, reminding you that our Zoom link is still on. <laughs> Hi, everyone on Zoom. Hello, 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 everyone joining us on Zoom. If you haven't joined us yet, the link is right there on your TV screen. Please join us. Hi, from Accra, Ghana. Hello, hello. All right. Okay, Ifwa, let's come to you now for your comments on Titiaka's performance. Titiaka, well done. Thank you. I enjoyed every bit of it. Merci uh, you, you, you did it all. You Thank went you. from who was your leader in like, um, Senegal. Yes. And I really enjoyed how you pinned it down with the lamp uh, wrestling, if I can Thank put it you. that. Well done. Thank you. Well done Thank to you, Titiaka. If she's your favorite, make sure she's not found wanting when it's time for eviction. Star 713, star 13 hash. Now, as Team Anita and Team Cookie have emerged again tonight, we've got 10 ladies for tonight. We've seen three of them, seven of them coming up right after this break. It's still GMB 2024. She's a queen. We're celebrating Africa. We've seen three different African countries who are taking you somewhere in East Africa, and that country is Kenya. Well, coming to show us the beauty of the African country Kenya is Ira, originally from the Buna region. Let's welcome Ira. She's a queen. My name is Ira. The Buna representative of this year's Ghana's Most Beautiful. Let me take you on an adventurous ride to the land of Kenya. I'd like to use this opportunity to thank everybody for supporting me. The Buna Regional House of Cheese, Osaja for Osia Dia Yonanaji, my body the second. Nana Akosia Dia Asosika Braye. Nana Kwame Amponsa the second. Nana Yebia for Gianna. Team Era and all the supporters of ERA. God richly bless you for supporting me. The competition is getting tougher and tougher as the day goes by, and I'll need your support and a lot of votes. To vote for ERA, dial star 713 star 13 hash or download the MG Reality app on Google Play Store or the App Store. Asante sana, with Damwase. Baba Gonya Ma Na Tigonya Yamavi to Baba Gonya Ma In the heart of East Africa, where the sun kisses the savannah, lies a land where nature's artistry unfolds itself in vibrant hue. Here, the rhythm of life beats in sync with the pulse of the land, and each dawn paints the sky with promises of adventure. Habari a journey, Ghana. Welcome to the land of Kenya, the land of breathtaking beauty and vibrant culture. As we embark on this journey, imagine yourself in the midst of the Maasai Mara, surrounded by the majestic Big Five. The lion with its powerful roar, the leopard with its cunning personality, the elephant with its wise eyes, the rhino with its tough skin, and the buffalo with its strong paws. Or picture yourself at the foot of Mount Kilimanjaro, gazing at Africa's highest peak. That's against the amazing backdrop of the Ambazali National Park. Kenya is a leader in trade, technology, and entrepreneurship. Nairobi, the capital, is a thriving business center with a growing middle class and a vibrant setup scene. In terms of governance, Kenya had made significant strides in transparency and democracy. 
and then there's food. Ah, ugali, nyoma choma, skuma wiki. Ah, all those are delicious delicacies of Kenya. Yes, and did you know that in the recent Paris Olympics, Kenya won 11 medals, topping all of the African countries. Yes, Kenya's natural wonders are all inspiring, but its cultural heritage is just as rich. Let us delve into the world of the Maasai people, the traditional clothes, the intricate jewelry, and the famous jumping dance where our warriors leap high into the sky, showcasing their strength and agility, and discover the traditions of Kiyo, Kikuyu, Lua, Kalenjin, and many more. From Siri National Parks to Vibrant Market, Kenya has something for everyone. As a good leader in governance, entrepreneurship, and economics, Kenya is a true gem for Africa. Uh, before I forget, my president, His Excellency Miriam Ruta says, I should welcome you with our famous jumping dance. Let's go, my friends, let's come. <laughs> and the wonders by yourself. Asante sana. Thank you. The famous jumping dance indeed. And absolutely, you just gotta love Kenya. Well, judges, I'm coming over to you, Janet. The famous jumping dance. Uh, have you tried that before? Era, yeah. you really gave me goose pimples. You know, I lived in Kenya for six years, and I love that country to bits. I think their embassy should give you an award. <laughs> I mean, you, you. <laughs> you know, we are in the top 10, eh? And the top 10, it means that it's fighters who will win this, who will make the night. And you just demonstrated. I mean, there was so much joy in your voice, in your spirit. And thank you for recovering from last week. Yeah. The jump, you, as if you are a Kenyan. Are you Kenyan? No. Asante sana kabisa, you did a great job. Well done. Yeah. All right, now let's go to Efua. Efua, what are your comments? Oh, I loved it. I loved her Kenyan accent. Eh? Thank you. She's done so well from beginning to the end. She held it. And uh, her performance was excellent. The dance, she nailed it. I think she represented Kenya very well. And like Janet said, maybe they, needed, they need to give her an award. Well done. Well, the Kenyan embassy definitely supported Ira and we're very grateful. And also to all the embassies for supporting our ladies and being part of tonight's show. We're very grateful. But now let's move over to a country that prides itself as one of the cleanest on the African continent. Well, I'm sure you know the country I'm talking about. And from the western region, Abuna is representing Rwanda tonight. She's a queen. Ghana. My name is Abina, representing Western Region in this year's Ghana's Most Beautiful. I'm extremely grateful for your love and support so far. Tonight, join me to the land of thousand heroes, Rwanda. But to keep me in the competition, dial star 713 star 13 hash or download the MG Reality app. Since you are I can't see no more. It won't vote in my Abina with that one I see. Imagine a land when the sky hits this. A land that is called the land of thousand hills. 
This is Rwanda, a beacon of hope, unity, and progress. In the year 1994, Rwanda, against the genocide, fought over 300, over, eight, one, over 1 million people were brutally killed. But what is a nation's past without a future? Paul Kagame, my president, has turned pain into resilience and strength into power in the community, in the population of 13. Kigali, our capital, is the cleanest city in Africa. Kigali, our capital, is the cleanest city in Africa. Our currency, Rwanda Frank, reflects our journey. And Kerwanda, that unites us. Woman empowerment is our greatest pride. Over, six, over 63% of our ladies are females. Today, as I'm here, I'm proud of Rwanda. Our culture, our culture, when it comes to milk, is one of our favorites. Guess what? I came with Igisabu. Our traditional god in which our milk are kept in. We have Ugali, Sambaza, Isobel, and what celebrates who we are. Then the flag, the colors of national flag symbolize its journey. Blue for peace, yellow for economic growth, green for hope and prosperity, and the sun symbolizes national unity and transparency. Rwanda and Ghana are both members of African Union. We are one Africa, connected by unity and resilience. I know you want to know about our tourist attraction, the Nue National Park, and its canopy walkway, the, the majestic Gorilla Park, also known as the Volcanoes National Park, and the Inkunwe National Park, which are what you see in Rwanda. You see how I've dressed? Today, I didn't come my mush nanana. I came in Gravy. Join me as we dance in Kinimba. Marukuzi. Marcuzzi, and that is Abuna from the Western region, but tonight she took us on a beautiful tour of Rwanda, and a big thank you going out to the Rwandan embassy as well for uh, clothing Abuna and of course our people on stage as well, but let me go to our judges. Jigbadi, you have a bite on this. What are your thoughts? Abuna, <clears throat> yes, well. if you've ever heard the word resilience, the definition of resilience is embracing joy in spite of difficulty. For me, I think the pressure you felt, it's not easy, that stage. But the end, the way you kept your smile on, I know you were watching us, finding it difficult to support you. You were watching all of us, and I know you found it difficult. But know in your heart that you're a person of resilience, and that is what you demonstrated tonight. I saw that it wasn't your best night, yeah. but it's a night that you showed resilience. Keep that smile, no matter what happens, because it will take you. Forward. All right, now to our judge, Ifua, what are your comments as well? Abna, I see you gave it your best. Well done. Uh, you got some of your content mixed up, but you you try to make up for it. You've done well. I like your outfit. Uh, I like, I love your smile as well. Well done. 
All right, and remember that tonight is a big eviction. Tonight is that one night that I'm sure you would never forget because three of our ladies are going to say goodbye to the competition and your favorite will find herself wanting if you do not vote. And so the short code is star 713, star 13 hash. And still in the spirit of celebrating Africa, we're taking you to a country that runs on its own time. Yes, I'm talking about Ethiopia. And to represent the country, we have Naamele from the Great Accra region. She's a queen. and entire members of the Apostolic Church Ghana, Mr. and Mrs. Papo, Mr. Andy Kelson, my friends, family, and entire Ghanaians, I greet you all, and I say thank you so much for your love and support so far. The main Naamele knows. Did you know that Ethiopia? No. Join me tonight as I present to you Ethiopia and experience more of the Naamele effect. Tonight is eviction, so please keep voting to keep me in the competition by dialing the short code star 713 star 13 hash or download the MG Reality app on your Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Thank you. Goodbye. citizenship is strong in Ethiopia. National pride is seen shining from one side to another. Our pride, our anthem, will defeat Gesh Geshi with Inat Ethiopia. March forward, dear mother Ethiopia. Tonight, I come to you as Queen Sheba, of Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia. Ethiopia is one of the few countries to maintain its independence during colonial era by defeating the Italians in the famous Battle of Adwa in 1896. Nostalgia for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah and Emperor Haile Selassie played significant roles in the formation of the Organization of African Unity. Now, the African Union. They became a symbol of one Africa. And that is why we can never talk about African unity without mentioning Ethiopia. Come with me as I take you through exciting places in Ethiopia you would definitely love to visit. Like the Soft Omar Cave, one of Africa's biggest caves with detailed passages and a river flowing through it. The city of Aksum, believed to be the resting place of the Ark of Covenant. Ethiopia's Orthodox churches is believed to be one of the oldest Christian denominations in the world and is also known for its famous rock hewn churches in Lalabella. Our culture is alive in over 80 languages, which includes Amharic as its official one. When it comes to watering your mouth. Mm, 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 mm. Ethiopia knows just how, with its unique cuisines, like my favorite, Doro Wat, a spicy chicken stew, often served with eggs and popular for special occasions. Oh, not forgetting Ethiopia's famous coffee, which is definitely among the world's finest. Did anyone here know that Ethiopia is the only country with a 13 calendar system. If it's 2024, in other parts of the world, it is 2017 in Ethiopia. Do you want to know why? This is because Ethiopia has 12 months of 30 days and an extra month of five or six days if it's a leap year and it's called the Pagu. Actually, we just celebrated our new year, 2017. On September 11th, join me dance the Eskista dance to celebrate. But you know what? As I dance, feel free to give me some Ethiopian bear for goodwill and blessings. 
It is very necessary. Ethiopia prides itself with diverse culture and heritage from its music, dance, and even sports, like Abebe Bekite, an athlete who became the first Ethiopian and African to ever win a gold medal in the Olympics. Ethiopia has played significant roles in promoting African unity and independence. Let us come together as one people to live this legacy on. One Africa is the goal. And we stand for one Africa. Thank you. One Africa indeed. And tonight, that is all we are projecting right here, celebrating Africa, our oneness, and the beauty of our unity as Africans. Now, this is where our judges get to tell us uh, what they think about the performances. Hello, Ifua. What are your comments? I think um, Namele Queen Sheba has done very well. I enjoyed it. She was alone for a long time. She did so well. I love the fact that she interspaced it with the dance. And I like how you are hopping on Africa unity with Ethiopia. But don't forget, Ghana was also the first sub-Saharan Africa uh, country to get its independence. So let me take this opportunity to tell our, our youth, they should always be ready to lead Africa because the Africans are looking to Ghana as the first country south of the Sahara to get independence. So they should be prepared to lead as Kwame Nkrumah and the others led for us. And also let me take this opportunity to tell our Nigerian brothers also. They are our little brothers, they are not big brothers because we got our independence before them. We are our big, they, we are their big sisters. We are mother, God, God, motherland and their fatherland. So they are boys and we are girls. We are their big sister, so they've got to give us the respect. It's always Ghana, Nigeria, not Nigeria, Ghana. Thank you. Wow, if we're at this table, you just shoot. We're very excited. Thank you for setting the record very, very straight. Janet, what do you have to say? I uh, hear Jibba, sir. It's not easy. <laughs> Sweetheart, you look stunning Thank you. in that outfit. When it comes to representing Ethiopia, there's one one benchmark performance that I'll never forget. To be honest with you, your shoulder dance, you nailed it. I've been trying that dance for <laughs> years and I haven't succeeded, but you nailed it. The beginning, let me say, first to 70% was informative, but it lacked entertainment for me. Thank God you brought in some entertainment. Otherwise, you would have scored low on my sheet. But you saved yourself. You look stunning. Well done. Thank you. Well, and just gone by, um, uh, we had Namele from the Greater Accra region, but tonight she took us to Ethiopia. And if you love the performances so far, make sure that you're voting for your favorite lady to keep here uh, in the competition. And now we're going to the country that has the longest river. Well, that is what they say. But uh, representing the Egypt, uh, we have Pepra from the Eastern region. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Pepra. She's the queen. the first to invent mirrors that you look at every morning, perfume that gives you character, or makeup that highlights your beauty. It doesn't end there. Writing tools, measuring tools, or even surgical tools. The list goes on and on. But do you know who pioneered all these? It all began with one civilization. To find out more, Join me tonight as I, Vibra, perform the civilization of Egypt. To keep me in the competition, kindly dial star 713 star 13 hash or download the MG Reality app from the Google Play Store or App Store to my chiefs, DCEs, MPs, entire staff of Frontier Oil Ghana Limited. Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Jowulu Covenant Congregation, to Team Pepra, my family and friends. Thank you all for the massive support. I am really grateful. Shukran. See, Egypt is not 
just a place of tombs, sands, and stones. We've been setting trends for over 5,000 years. Are you aware that the most fashionable and oldest dress in the world was made in Egypt? Yes, it is called the Takan dress. We have pioneered great inventions, great inventions that science has been made after it. Egyptology. I know you're not only here for our fashion and iconic eyeliners that can break your ceilings. You're here for the food as well, I know. Do you know of falafel? You don't? What about kushari? You also don't know that one. These are some of the best street food you can taste when you come to Cairo, our capital city. We also boast of beauty as well as feminine power. Oh, hail Queen Nefertiti, the most beautiful woman in the world, a symbol of beauty and power of women that shape history. Today, Egypt is where the past meets the future. Our Swiss canal fuels global trade and Cairo's metro is one of the busiest in Africa. Our arts and music feeds our souls and tonight I will show you. And thank you. And that is a pepper from the Eastern region. And tonight, she took us all the way to Egypt. Beauty, beauty, the beauty of Africa. Now, let me go to the judges. Jibodi, what are your comments? Pepra. <laughs> you know, I've been, I've been saying this to you. Um, I think I said at the beginning that I think you've got something special and that you should keep it up in the competition if you remember. But today, your entrance alone, gargantuan, I haven't heard. <laughs> so I came, I, I keep talking about influence and difference, and you influenced us, you brought the difference, and what an immersion, and what a representation of the culture um, of the country. You went all out, and you performed, and you delivered eloquently. Exceptional. Thank well you. done. And now let's move on to our judge. If we're, what are your comments? Wow. I think this has been spectacular. I mean, your dressing, like you said, the way you entered, everything, the tempo, you give it something different. Uh, magical, I'm told. You've made my respect for Ethiopian, uh, sorry, Egyptian customs and their outfits and everything go so high up. Well done, I enjoyed it. All right. We've seen seven of the ladies so far reminding you that you should keep voting, voting, voting because at least two of them will be saying goodbye to the competition. So please make sure you keep your votes coming. Star 713, star 13 hash. You can also use the MG Reality app. And we are grateful to as many of you who have been able to join us on Zoom. So one more time. Hello, all Zoomers. Hi. Can you hear us? Great. Fantastic. We do hope that you're having an awesome time the link it's, it's still on your tv screen so please join us if it's not too late for you to do so we're taking a breather when we come back three of the ladies will perform and we'll wrap it up for the night it's still gmb 2024 she's the queen we are still journeying through africa on this special episode of one africa and special acknowledgements going out to all the embassies who have helped the ladies especially with their costumes this evening all embassies and high commissions from nigeria south africa egypt kenya rwanda angola botswana Cote d'Ivoire, senegal and ethiopia we are eternally grateful to you thank you so much for all your contribution towards what we see here tonight on stage now hatier is ready and she's representing this evening one of the most incredible wilderness areas here on earth. Ladies and gentlemen, Hatier representing Botswana. She's a queen. Kayla Helamo, Botswana Kapula. Welcome to the land of Botswana. 
Join me tonight as I explore the beautiful country of Botswana, where cattle rearing has become a way of life. A very big thank you to the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Alban Sumana Bagwin, to all the MPs and DCs of the Upper West Region, to the Sisala Development Network, Alhaji Akate, Lawyer Abujuan, Mr. Adam Zui, to Team Hatie, my family, friends and loved ones. Thank you for bringing me this far. To keep me in the competition, kindly dial star 713 star 13 hash or download the MG Reality app on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store to vote massively for Hatie to keep me in the competition. Thank you. Ya baraka. Ma anju so. Dumela! Kayla Helamo Botswana Kapula! Welcome to the land of Botswana. My name is Botumelo, which means happiness. Coming from the capital city, Gaboron. I invite you to journey with me and experience the culture, the history, and the beautiful tourist sites of Botswana. Before our independence in 1966, we were one of the poorest African countries in the world. But now, everyone calls us the jewel of Africa. My country now enjoys a stable democracy. We have a booming economy and we have natural beauty. As a political party, we enjoy democracy. We have a history of free and fair elections. Do you know that in my country, we are, from our first president, we have had easy changes of our leadership. In Botswana, we love, we love our environment. Do you know that? in my country, Botswana. We love conservation of animals. That is why we have dedicated a large portion of our land to wildlife animals, to wildlife reserves, and beautiful parks. Botswana has become a safe haven for all the endangered species. We have the big five. We have the leopards, the elephants, the buffaloes, the rhinos, and so much more. When it comes to our booming economy, eh? Ah, allow me to brag but we are one of the largest producers of diamond in the whole world. Do you know that in Botswana, when a person finds diamond in their backyard, they take it straight to their government. This is because we have trust in our government and we know that our resources will be equally shared among everyone. In Botswana, cattle rearing, how can I forget cattle rearing? It has become our culture. It is our way of life. In Botswana, when you turn 18, the government gives you two pieces of land for free. One that you use to build a very beautiful house and one that you use for cattle rearing. Do you know that in Botswana, even when you come, you see our, our doctors, our nurses, our teachers, our journalists, everybody, they all have cattle farms in their land. Even me, look at me. I have a cattle farm and I can proudly say that I have 1,000 cattle in my farm. Oh, don't be shocked, I am a big girl, I am not a small girl. In Botswana, ha, ah, we love our nature. Have you heard of the Moremi National Park? Do you love to travel? Then you should come and see the Okavanga Delta or the Chobe National Park. And when you come, we will treat you to our delicious local delicacies like the Seswa or the Chobe. Auntie Janet, Auntie Jibodi, ha. Ah, a little birdie just told me that you love to dance. So because you are visitors, I will treat you to our local traditional dance, the Tobe dance. Boy, boy. Representing the people of Botswana, 
And Jibwadi, I think at this time, we need to advocate that here in Ghana, we need to take after our friends in Botswana. When you find a piece of gold in your backyard, take it to the authorities. Don't do galamse. Do not do galamse. Jibwadi, what do you say about Hatia's performance? Hey. Oh. So I, I, for me, all I was doing was listening to all the benefits that we get. When we get our gold, we take it to the backyard. We get two free land. I'm um, um, uh, 18 three times over, so I don't know whether <laughs> I get three pieces of land. Or, so, oh, Hati, I love your presentation. The dance was beautiful. You did well. Well done. All right. Ifwa, what do you have to say? Yes, I agree with Jibodi. The content was rich. You've given us so much information about Botswana. Um, and I'm not sure how you're going to get some of the uh, cattle here to us in Ghana. But please, she's uh, a big girl. Possible. She's a Everything big girl. Everything is possible. She's so. a big girl. She's a big girl. <laughs> well done. I think I like your outfit as well. It Thank portrays you. Botswana in all its ways. And it's true, Botswana has come a long way. They've done very well. Yeah, it's Thank a place you. to visit, really. All right. Oh, Janet, you want to say something quickly? Okay. I cannot let Hatia go scot free. You threw a dance challenge to Jigbadi and I. Do you know who we are, Pa? Uh, uh, please put on that music. Okay. Hey, Asamaba. Boy, boy. Okay, on your feet. On your feet, judges. Okay. to join them. If why you didn't join them. No, I don't have the courage to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Nine over ten. Nine, Anita, nine over ten. Yeah, do nine over ten. Do we deserve yeah, star nine, performer star like star something perform like yes, that? Yes, you do. Yes, okay. you do. Yes, you do. Well done. Congratulations to you. And if Hatier is your favorite, please make sure you keep in the competition because unfortunately, Three people are saying goodbye to the competition tonight. So please keep voting. Star 713, star 13. And to our Zoom audience, one more time, hello, hello, hello. If you haven't joined yet, please, the Zoom link is right there on your TV screen. We want you to feel closer to us. Keep the conversation going. Make it a lot more interesting. So please make sure you join our Zoom link, which is available on your TV screen right now. Now, this next area is known for its vast animal and petroleum reserve. It is called Angola, and Nana from the Western region is bringing us that culture. She's a queen. Hola, Ghana. Boa noi. Me no me e Nana, the rep for the Western North region in the CSGMB. Tonight, as we celebrate Africa's unity, I will be representing the Republic of Angola. Have you heard of Njinga, one of the greatest warrior queens in Angola? Join me as I share with you this captivating tale. To everybody in Ghana and the people of the Western North region who has been supporting me to this far, I say a very big thank you. The president of the National House of Chiefs, Nana Kwabina Ebi II, Nana Kuebre II, Nana Yaobedu, Nana Matiasa, Team Nana and everybody who has been voting for me. I say thank you. To keep me in this competition, kindly dial star 713 star 13 hash or download the MG Reality app from the Google Play Store or App Store and vote massively for Nana. Me door massive. Thank you. Though the scars of my childhood still remain reliant, the vibrant rhythms and resilient spirit of Africa's heartbeats remains the cadence that guides me, a reminder of the continent's unyielding beauty and unbreakable bond I share with its rich red soil. Where I am coming from is a country born from the ashes of colonialism, forged in the fire of struggle and nourished by the resilience of our people. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my country that is positioned itself at the southwestern coast of Africa, the Republic of Angola. Hola, Ghana. Boa noite. Menom e nana from the Western North region. Tonight, let me be your queen in Jinga, representing the Angola. I welcome you all to Angola, where Portuguese is our official language, though we have native languages like Kimbundu, Imbundu, Kikonku, and few other languages. With Luanda as our capital, in Angola, 11th November 1975, reminds us of the day we finally gained independence from the Portuguese after 70 years of colony through our then president, Nogesto Neto. We are blessed with natural resources like gold, diamonds, bauxite, not forgetting that we are the second largest producers of oil in the whole Africa. We have dishes like funj and muamba de galiha, which is popularly known in Ghana as kokonte and granite soup. All you need is your okra. From the majestic heights of Sara the Leba Mountains to the vast expanse of the Namib Desert and the vibrant streets of Luanda, Angola's diverse landscape, rich cultural heritage, and warm welcoming people will leave an indelible mark on your soul. And I am honored to call it my homeland. Whilst the Ghanaians pride themselves with Ya Asantua, we, the people of Angola, pride ourselves with our first female ruler, Queen Njinga. Queen Njinga Mbandi, born around the 1583, was the 17th century prime leader of the kingdom in Dongo and Matamba in Angola. After the death of her brother, she led our people in fierce resistance against the Portuguese. Renowned for her strategic skills and diplomacy, she negotiated with the Portuguese by sitting on the mat, refusing to be known as inferior. Her leadership were marked by innovative tactics, alliance with the Dutch, and a guerrilla warfare. A very fierce, powerful warrior, fearless, and a mother to the motherless. All hail to Queen Injinga. Oh, before I leave, let me give you a feel of a Kisumba dance. Thank oh, you. wow. OK, OK, OK. Things we love to see on GNB, Nana representing the people of Angola. And the last bit, hey, Janet, you're still dancing. Sensually, sensually, you're still dancing. OK, OK, go you. OK, go you. <laughs> Jenna, you're having so much fun tonight on I the show. You, I told you, Africa, I've traveled the length and breadth of our beautiful continent. It's such a rich continent. And thank you so much. I've been to Angola so many times. So, obrigada. You did very, thank very you. well. And that, I mean, the fearlessness. I mean, what I like about Nana, I told you, I think the first two episodes, Nana doesn't go down without a fight. She knows it's top 10 and she's fighting. You represented yourself very, very well. And by the way, you look amazing. Thank you. Well done, sweetheart. Thank you. All right. Efwa, tell us what you think about Nana's performance. OK. Nana, very good presentation. Thank you. A lot of energy and passion with everything that you did. And I like the way that you brought out Queen Njinga and her contribution Thank to you. Africa and to what we do in our, on our continent with our women. We allow them to express themselves, like you said, Yas Antwa, and all of that. Thank you. It's very good history you've brought out. Thank we enjoyed you. it. All right. Please keep Nana in the competition. Star 713, star 13 hash. And acknowledging all the contributions of all the embassies and high commissions to tonight's presentation, we would love to say a big thank you to Nigeria, South Africa, Egypt, Kenya, Rwanda, Angola, Botswana, Cote d'Ivoire, Senegal, and Ethiopia. Thank you so very much to all of you for your contribution for the presentation for GMB tonight. Well, to wrap it all up for us, a free says to tell you that there's a visa waiver. You do not need a visa 
Ghouta to go to South Africa anymore. It is your number one travel destination here in Africa. Representing South Africa, let's welcome Efri Ye. She's a queen. Sabwana, Ghana. I'm a free, proudly representing the Ashanti region in this year's Ghana's Most Beautiful. Imagine walking on a sandy beach with crystal clear water. Yes, it can be found in South Africa. Come with me as I take you on a tour in South Africa. Special thanks to my parents and Mana the Chef Fraternity, Team Efriye, Yas and to our old girls, and everyone else in support of me. To keep me in the competition, kindly dial star 713 star. One three hash and follow the prompt to vote for a free aid. or download the MG Reality app on Google Play Store or App Store. in Kiabonga. This is the war chant of the Zulus. Sabwana Ghana, I'm a proud South African, a nation whose music and dance is a testament to our rich cultural heritage. From the energetic Gambut to the majestic Zulu dance. Each step telling a story of our history and tradition. Fashion in South Africa is a fusion of colorful fusion. Colorful tester with the beast and our vibrant pattern. As the Rainbow Nation, we are blessed with a lot of natural resources, such as the gold, cereals, dairy products, among others. For the best tourist sites, visit South Africa. Come and experience some tourist sites like the Guruja National Park, one of the largest game reserves in the whole of Africa. Yes, the whole of Africa. As Cape Town is known for its beautiful nature, of the table mountain to the beaches. Hmm, just feel the breeze and relax. At Johannesburg, we dive into the history and culture of South Africa. The city that houses the galleries and museums. But today, we have cafes, restaurants that prepare our favorite delicacy, known as the brewers. Hmm, tasty. Just a day. In Johannesburg, it's always full of life and happiness. We have adopted the Ubuntu, meaning humanity towards others. We are the Caucasian tribe, the unique ones among the 11 tribes in South Africa. As you can see in my costume, we are very good at hunting. Yes, in South Africa, we are the nation of hope, resilience, warmth which is signified by the Protea flower. Come and experience my nation, this great nation, with me. Let me show you the Zulu dance, how it's performed. Oh, Bonga. All right. Efriye representing South Africa for this evening. And special thanks to the South African Embassy for Efriye's costume. Thank you so very much. Janet, I'm coming straight to you. You know, Efriye, you are a warrior. Do you know that? I've watched two of your performances where you presented as a warrior. And every time you take that stage, in that persona, you excel. Well done. You, you are a true representative. You did very well. I must commend the South African um, team for dressing you well. And uh, South Africa is one of my favorite countries. I love the alarm Woo! chops. I <laughs> love the you. alarm chops. Well done. Thank you. All right. If we are, please close the night with your comments for us. Well done, if, well done, if we, I think uh, you are yes and to us, uh, a descendant, right? So the war thing comes naturally to you. 
Uh, I think you have done very well. You summarized everything nicely for us in Africa because we use a lot of beads in Africa and you've brought that out nicely. And the dance, every uh, performer has had to dance and I like the way you brought out the different dances from South Africa. So well done, we enjoyed it. Thank All you. right. Well done to you, a free year. Well, there you have it, Team Anita and Team Cookie coming back together as one big family to present to you one Africa. But unfortunately, at least two or at most three ladies will be saying goodbye to the competition. Please make sure your favorite does not go home. Star 713, star 13 hash. You can also use the MG Reality app. Voting isn't closed yet, so please keep voting, keep voting till we close for the night. Let's take a break. When we come back, who wins best costume, most eloquent, and who will be our star performer for the night? All coming up right after this break. Intelligent. Welcome back. We promised you a night of Afro explosion, and we do hope that we have lived up to your expectation and the expectation of the judges as well. Time now to find out who goes home and who stays. But before all of that, who wins best costume or most eloquent, and who is going to be our star performer for the night? But if you remind us for the night, um, Heaven Black and Enapa is, say, is saying they are given 5,000 Ghana cities printed excise books um, from their company and this is towards the corporate social responsibility of the two brands and also to promote education in all the 16 regions of Ghana. Actually 5,000 printed excise books. So thank you so much Heaven Black and Enapa. Also reminding you that Afro Connect is on now on the 21st of September the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park experience the dynamic cultures of Africa and the infectious energy of Africa's great people like we have seen on stage. Feel the pulse, feel the vibe. 3FM Afro Connect is here. Now for all exhibitors and all who wish to partake in Afro Connect 2024, the number to call is 0532 200927 0532 200927 for Afro Connect. Time now to get into our awards for the night, but we are starting off with a Kivo woman for the evening or for the week and I think Joy is ready. She's the chaperone of all the ladies in the house. Joy, if you are ready, please join us on stage as we present the Kivo Woman of the Week. And our guest judge, Efua, is going to do the presentation for us. But yes, Joy, join me. You look lovely in your green outfit. All right, so tell us, who is our Kivo Woman of the Week? Our Kivo Woman of the Week goes to the beautiful Minkia. Girl, oh. keep shining. You're a beautiful soul. We love you, girl. Minkia. Minkia. Yes, it's please come. our Kivo come. Woman of the Week, mm -hmm. and she's getting uh, products from Kivo Products, and so we have Kivo Pepper and Kivo Gary as well. And so to help us do the presentation, Efua B and Sre, our guest judge, will be doing us the honors. And there she comes. And so congratulations one more time. Ladies, a round of applause for her for winning our Kivo Woman of the Week and that package from Kivo Products. Congratulations, Minkia. And all the ladies voted for Minkia. All of them voted Minkia. And that's the beauty of this particular yeah. award, actually. Yeah. Well, I think it's right that we zoom into best costume. Tonight, our ladies all look absolutely stunning. I don't know who you think is winning because personally, I am confused. From the north to the south, east and west, our ladies came representing a beautiful African culture. Tonight, we are spreading our tentacles and taking it out of Ghana and going to the African continent. And so from South Africa to Botswana, to Rwanda, to Angola, Egypt, at Nigeria, Nigeria. Not carry last. <laughs> Today, Makafui, you and me, the gilly. I know, right? Who's is bigger? I know, right? Now, yours is bigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's beautiful, by the yeah. way. All of you look stunning tonight. Judges, are we ready for who is eligible to win the best costume? I think we are ready. Okay, and of well, Fuki, okay. um, the us. best costume award, mm -hmm. uh, whoever gets it will be getting products from Reflow Sanitary Pad. And at Reflows, we say it's made with your comfort in mind. And so, ladies, whoever wins, you're getting some Reflows. Uh, judges, are we ready to rock and roll? <laughs> that should ready. tell you how tough the night was, I guess. Judges, are we ready? Yes, we are. Okay, let's go then. What do you want?
want us to start with? Best costume. Best costume. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but look at these ladies. Don't they all look stunning? They yeah. all do. Why don't we give 10 best costumes? Eesh. I agree. <laughs> Can I we? agree. Okay, for the purposes of tonight, no, uh -huh. we will call three. Pepra. Titiaka. And the warrior, Ifriye. Costume is costuming. This is difficult. Okay. Let's give it to Nefertiti. Oh, wow. Okay. Pepra. Pepra. Our best costume for tonight is our lady from Egypt. Well, originally, <laughs> she's from the Eastern region, but tonight she took us on a beautiful journey to Egypt. I loved her entry, by the way, and that costume definitely deserves it. Okay. Cookie. Okay, moving on to most eloquent, and the lady for the winner for the night will get products from Geisha, Moringa, and Black Soap, Pepsi, and Charcoal, and Hebo, and of course, 100 Ghana City airtime from AT, formerly Airtel Tigo. Most eloquent. You ready? I'll take that, then you give the biggest one. <laughs> you know what, huh? Ladies. You displayed dexterity. I'm so proud of all of you. Well done. Congratulations. <laughs> but it is a competition. It is. Pepra. OK. From the land of Jerejef, Senegal. And I did comment that this performance gave me goose pimples you with did. a lot of nostalgia. You know who you are, don't you? Era. Who wins most eloquent? Guess who? Shebuyap, Shebujen, <laughs> Senegal. Titiaka. Oh. Titiaka wins most eloquent. And she's getting 100 Ghana cities airtime from AT, formerly Airtel Tigo. Congratulations to you for being most eloquent of the night. Congratulations to you, Titiaka. Great stuff. All right, and she's getting more okay. products from Geisha as well. Okay, more for you. Congratulations to you, Titiaka, for winning most Eloquent. Okay. All right. And now to the big one, uh, star performer and uh, also our winner for the Star Performer Award. Uh, we'll be getting products from Gino Tomatoes and also you will be getting the Techno Common 20 series. And to do that presentation for us, uh, Erekia Enchi, Digital Marketing and Public Relations Manager. If she can join us on stage as we gear up for the big one, which country is going to take home the ultimate Star Performer Award. Judges. Star Performer. <clears throat> oh, faculty, thank you, I. <laughs> the, these are the sounds of Africa. <laughs> Shy. All of you were great ladies, like, like Janet said. I mean, Janet used the word fighters today. All of you were fighters tonight. There were star performers in various categories, as you can tell, but 
overall. <clears throat> Not Melly. <laughs> Titiaka. <laughs> Pepper. <laughs> Who wins? Who wins, star performer? That entry from Egypt, all the way from Cairo. <laughs> and the representation. Congratulations, Pepra. Pepra is our star performer for tonight. Well, she did not sit in that. Is it a palanquin? <laughs> for nothing. And it all definitely paid off. Congratulations, Pepra. She's getting the Techno Come On 20 series from Techno. A very well-deserved win. And also she gets um, a package from Gino Tomatoes as well. And so if we can have that package, uh, so it is presented to Pepra. Pepra, kindly step forward for us. Take all the shine and the spotlight. Well, you are shining already. <laughs> and so congratulations one more time for winning our Star Performer Award. Pepra from the Eastern Region. Tonight, it was all about Egypt for Pepra. Well, this is the best part of the show. Yeah, if we thank you so much. This thank is you, the part that we all love. Uh, did this you is say the, the part best part? Smile. Is this the best part? This is the best part. Is this the best part? This is the best part. Is this right? the best part? <laughs> you you won't start before, but it's not the best part. It's the eyeliner for me. No wonder she says that the <laughs> eyeliner can break the ceiling. Well, yeah. Uh, we're about getting into the not so good part. Faculty, and faculty, today do something. No, no, Anita, wait. Faculty, do something. Do something. And this is where Janet will ask you to play BB Gookie, isn't it amazing mm -hmm. that? We are, we are not too excited that we have to see at least two <laughs> Can or three imagine? ladies go home. Can you imagine? But we, we also cannot wait for that particular BB right. It's a must. Yes, it is. We told you to vote, 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 and keep voting. Hopefully, you did that well. Um, let's take a little breather because our judges are still putting the numbers and figures together. You've also voted. Let's collate all of that and come back and decide who goes home and who stays. We'll be right back. Well, much as we don't want it to happen, it has to happen because it is part of the competition. Time for eviction now. But one more time, Anita, let's acknowledge all of Absolutely. our viewers who joined us on Zoom. Hello, hello, hello from Ghana. One more time, wherever you've joined us from. Yeah, there they are. There they are on the TV screen. Thank you so much for joining. I'm sure this will be a regular feature on the show so you can get closer to all of us right here on the GMB stage. Now, time now, okay. Anita, to find out who goes home and who I stays. Don't, I don't like this part at all, but I guess we'll do some saving. And then all the right. judges. Ooh. <laughs> Namile, why is your face like this? Why is your, tell me, what's, what's running through your head? Eviction. <laughs> Eviction is running through your head. It is something telling you you are staying. Yes, by God's grace. Something is telling you you're staying. Yes. All right. Most eloquent. How are you feeling? Um, I'm okay. I can't describe my feeling now. Yes, please. <laughs> the warriors have to save you tonight. <laughs> Senegal has to save you tonight. But do you think you're going home? Yes, please. I believe Senegal has already saved me. Oh, Nisha. you believe Senegal has saved you? All right. Let's see how you do for the night. Oh, Nigeria, de Carilla, so. But do you agree that our jollof is better than yours? Hmm. Oh, wow, wow. Oh, yeah. Me, my own kasakwa. Me, my own kasakwa. Judges, I think we are ready. Um. We are going to save about five of you, Anita and I, or myself, and then we'll hand over the bottom five to the judges. All right, let me step aside so I can look into your eyes. All 
All right. I think it's only right that our staff performer goes backstage. Congratulations to you, Pepra. You've qualified to the next stage of the competition. And of course, most eloquent must also stay. Congratulations to you, Titiaka. Um, who else can I save? Well, our Jolof is better than theirs, but they get to be in the competition. Makafu, you go backstage. Please come to the middle. Well, Nameli, for your voice alone, go backstage. Go backstage. With your voice and the shoulder dance, go backstage. All right. Who can I save now? Who can I save? But why are you so scared? You're a big girl now. Have you forgotten you're a big girl? Why are you so scared? Big girl, go backstage. All right. So the big girl has gone backstage. Come, come to the middle. Step forward a little bit. Judges, I'm handing over the bottom five to you. Efriye Nana, Ira, Mikia, and hey, Charlie Abuna. Okay. All right. Judges, what do you say? Janet. <laughs> you all look so sad up there. You know, <laughs> tonight, you guys made it very, very tough for us, and that was not easy. You all deserve a round of applause. Shall we please give them a round of applause? And you know, I personally don't like the word bottom five because it's the best five that I've gone, but by no means you are not bottom. You, are no, you, you know they carry less. So you've done very well. I'm just going to save two just because it's a competition, right? So please Follow forgive up. me if I do not mention your name. Faculty, yeye bibi mamwana. Janet, Janet, Nipa Yamushino, Nipa Yamushino, Nipa Yamushino. Era was looking at me as the anti jet power for the side For that reason, you're safe, Era. <laughs> Congratulations to you. Go backstage. Jibadi, Jibadi, who are you saving? Jibadi, who are you saving? Whew. All right. Oh, me too. My stomach is shaking me. <laughs> as much as I love you all, and as much as you've done well, we are going to save the warrior. The fighting warrior, Efriye. Efriye, wow. Hey, this is very tough. Are we not saving anymore? We are not saving anymore. Oh, wow. So this is the end of the road for all three of you, unfortunately. But thank you for your participation. Thank you very much. Thank you, a round of applause for yourselves. Thank you to all of you who were able to join us on Zoom. I, on, on Zoom, I do believe that next week you will get to join us again one more time. But this is a testament that if you don't vote for your favorites, they will get evicted. Please keep voting. Star 713, star 13 hash, or also through the MG Reality app. It's been amazing coming your way this evening. Thank you to all the judges, Janet, Efua, and Jibwadi. Afro Connect is also on the 21st of September. Please, reminding you out there to come out in your numbers. There will be a Jollof competition. Ghana hasn't won yet, so hopefully this time around, Ghana Anna wins honorably for us. Thank you so much. I did this with Anita. I am Cookie. We'll see you again next week. Have a good night. She's a queen. She's Ghana's most beautiful. Pride of the motherland. Educated, traditional, inspiring our people. She's strong, proud, fearless, and eloquent. Ashanti, Ashanti region.
What's good all the way from West Africa? My name is DJ Fako T. Promoting. 